Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am Steph Barron, owner and founder of Lady Lux Hair, specialising in hair colour and hair extensions. So today I am going to be blow drying my hair. I'm going to be adding loads of volume. I feel like when you have got shorter hair sometimes you are a bit restricted with your styles and things. So yeah, I'm just going to be giving myself a little glam blow dry. We're still in quarantine just now, still in the UK lockdown. So it's going to just make me feel so much better and more glam for the day. So I have already washed my hair, I have used Redken shampoo and conditioner, I um, I always like to let my hair dry 80% before I start to actually do my blow dry, one because I'm lazy and two it's better for my hair and I feel like you get a much longer lasting blow dry because it's now 80% dry and still a little bit damp and then we can just add the volume into it. Items that you're going to need for this tutorial is a round brush, you're going to need some heat protection spray, some volumizing blow drying spray, a clip and of course a hair dryer. So I'm going to start off by applying the Redken heat protection, applying it in my hands and running it through my hair. You don't need huge amounts, just one pump is enough. I'm then going to apply some of this pillow proof, which is just helps um, speed up your blow dry as well. So now that I have applied that, I am going to start off by drying the front of my hair. I always like to dry the front of my own hair. I always like to dry the front of my clients hair first, just because when they're sitting in the chair, they want to see the first, you know, they want to see the front of their hair so that they can see how their colours developed. It means that they can sort of see that, yeah, it's starting to go to plan and things. I also like to do the front first because I feel like it's the first area that dries first. So if you don't dry it immediately, it ends up sitting funny. So I am just going to take the front section of my hair, um, which we are going to start off by drying. If you find it easier to clip the rest of the hair back, Feel free to do so, but we are going to start off by drying just this front section. So I'm just going to apply the hair dryer onto a medium heat with a high speed. We're going to be taking our round brush, we're going to be brushing it upwards like this while holding the hair dryer. So we're going to have it like this blow drying it up, rolling it back down, blow drying it up. So the reason we are blasting all the air into the front part of your hair and in at your root is so that we can have the maximum volume. So yep, let's get started. Ideally you want to keep brushing the hair and moving the hair dryer simultaneously at the same time while rotating the hair brush as well. I mean it is all a bit complicated and don't worry if it does take you a little bit time to get used to as it is quite difficult to start with. So now this is my front little section starting to sit volumized and take shape. So I'm now just going to move on to the section slightly further behind it. I'm not too neat with my sections, I'm just literally doing it with my hands. Also a tip, you want to make sure that you're not holding the hair dryer directly onto the hair because that will be causing it to burn. So you want to obviously just make sure that it just stays a few inches away. So the reason I wait until my hair is 80% dry is because you really don't have to do too much drying because the hair is already 80% dry so your blow dry starts to take loads of shape really really quickly. I'm going to do this front section down here. Woo! 
we are taking shape. So I'm now just going to continue throughout the rest of my hair, taking small sections. We are always blow drying the hair up the way just so that we can get the maximum volume. You're just going to continue the same movement throughout section by section of your hair until your full head is dry. Oh god, that bit has got loads of volume. So we're just going to keep making my way around. So now that I've completed this full top section, I'm just going to lightly clip it up. Not clipping it down too harsh because that's what's going to lose the bounds. But just so that I can do the underneath section. Some people like to start underneath first. I just prefer to do the front and the top just because those are the areas that are mainly going to be seen and I want them to be volumized as possible. can sometimes be quite difficult to get the back but again we're just going to continue full drying it up the way so we're starting to look really really volumized under here I'm now just going to take the top section down again and just make sure that everywhere is fully dry just need to go over this little bit And this is my final look. I love this kind of bow dry just because it makes your hair look super glam and it is totally effortless and it literally only takes 10-15 minutes so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more hair videos and yeah I will see you all very soon.